So today on Water Wednesdays, I'm getting a lesson from these two St. Michael students about how a solar powered water pump and purifier works. And a system like this would be ideal in the aftermath of a natural disaster. When power is out and you still want water pumped into your home. So I have Seth Edwards and Aiden Tempro here to take me through this modular device that will be so key for people like us at the Barbados Water Authority. So Seth, if you can explain for me how this system works. Basically, we both go to the St. Michael School, as you can see. And last year, which was first form for us, we had to do a science project which was beneficial to society and people around you. So we decided to do this because you can take any source of water from like a pond or river and create it into like drinking water which you can drink and cook with. Also we this system can produce a byproduct water which will it, you can use it for bathing and washing clothes but you just can't drink with it or consume it. The solar panel creates power from the sun which would be the sunlight obviously and creates it into DC power and it runs it to the charge controller and the charge controller determines how much power goes to the battery and that's basically our, our power saver and that battery saves how much power we need to either go to the pump which pumps in from any source of water or it goes to the DC to AC inverter which you can use to power a which you can use to power a small radio or a light for safety. So the pump can take in water from any source any source of water like a lake or a river or even a pool of water. It takes the water in from the pump and pushes it through the filtration the three stage filtration system. And that third filter is a reverse osmosis filter, which the wa the drinking water goes through, so it will be able to, so you'll be able to drink it. Then there's also a byproduct water, which comes around the same area, and goes through, well, comes through the same area, and you can use that water for bathing and for non-drinking purposes, but like washing or bathing. So the average amount of water a person t intakes a day is three liters. Um, this system, this system, produces 108 liters a day, and that's enough water for 36 people. The byproduct water, um, the amount of byproduct water produced is 254 liters a day, which is enough for 50 people. The system includes a DC power inverter that can that converts the battery power to AC power, which can be used to charge cell phones, provide emergency light for safety, and a radio for emergency broadcast. The cost of the system is around, is approximately $1,540, producing 108 liters a day. The cost of buying drinking water in Barbados is around $1.40 per liter. So this system produce, produces $151 worth of water daily and therefore will pay for itself in 10 days. On further research, we can upgrade the reverse osmosis system at, the, at an extra $400. This will increase the output to 378 liters a day, enough for 126 people and valued at $557. Therefore, this this upgraded system would pay for itself in four days. But in the end, this is all for saving lives and helping people in that critical first week so that, well, they can survive. Seth Aylin, thank you so much for showing me how this project works. And of course, thank you for watching Water Wednesdays. To view this or a previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. You can go to our Facebook page as well for additional information or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube, you will find us there.